Hi guys, this is a quick apology that there's not going to be a Frostgrave Friday this week and instead I just wanted to have a quick chat really. So uh, I'm sure you're all really sick of hearing about me and my health as much as I am being unwell. <coughs> um, on many 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 fronts um, but it is what it is so uh, I haven't done any work to the the Frostgrave stuff this week and that's why we're not getting any content and what I wanted to talk to you about today is uh, it's tied into all that but before I get to that I didn't want to do I didn't want to show you nothing at all this video so I wanted to have something to show you and this is what I did last weekend before I uh, before I got too unwell um, so I showed you these the week before, or sometime the week before, and I got them painted. So, um, I did a red one, as you can see, so this is a red spire, the Gangs of Kamora, and uh, my one single Patreon, uh, Thomas, decided that he wanted a purple one, so I went ahead and did a purple one there. So we've got uh, purple, and red, <coughs> excuse me, and green, and blue, and grey. So those are the colours we've got at the moment. I need to do one more. But there's, there's them. Love them on the table. Um, yeah, so that's my update for this video. Um, I don't like to do a video without showing you some progress from something somewhere. Um, but what I wanted to quickly chat to you about was um, I decided I'm potentially going to be starting up Quidditch Custom. Those of you guys who've been with me for a long old time will remember that I ran a small business or a small little venture called Cut It Custom, where basically I ran um, a stencil cutting, custom stencil cutting business, and also um, made boxes for people. So, custom styrene boxes. So, this one here, for example, is made for tokens. Um, and I made it so that you could customize the inside for the different tokens and, and whatnot, so you can grab them out and all that sort of stuff, they've all got this like sliding lid. And of course the stencils played into it because you can have these cool like self-designed uh, bits on the top. Like this one here, it's got the logo of the site on it, uh, made to look like a playing card. I just stuck the extra bits on the side. Um, with a cut out at the bottom there, to poke your finger through like that to get the cards out. Um, and I also did stencils like this here, and you've seen this one I used to make a t-shirt that you've seen quite often on the on the channel. Um, but the reason I stopped doing that is because of the boxes, to be honest. The boxes were probably a stretch too far. With a full-time job, making these boxes was a little bit too much, um, a little too time-consuming. So I'm leaning towards starting it up again. Um, just to make a little extra money for, for the family, um, to make ends meet and whatnot. Uh, and also selling some sort of standard stencils. A little bit more elaborate than this little one I've cut for myself here. <laughs> this one I just I just cut to, to do some little stenciling. It's really basic. Um, obviously it would look a lot prettier if I was actually going to sell the thing. Um, but along the same sort of lines... Um, and sell them a good value, to be honest, at a, at a, at a decent price uh, for what they are compared to what you can get on the, on the market at the moment, from what I can see uh, in the, the bit of research that I've done. So I'm thinking offering, uh, I don't know, numbers, so you can stencil on terrain and vehicles and patterns for vehicles and I don't know... If you've got some terrain that's very plain, maybe some um, brickwork stencil. Anyway, keep an eye on videos in the next couple of weeks or next week or so. And I'm going to try and get some stencils together and have a play and see what we can't get working. Um, and get it together and, and see what I can't offer. You never know. Uh, and probably potentially start that up and also start up the bit where I can potentially offer some custom stencils in the old website as well and get that started up 
again, just not to the same stand, not to the same level where I was offering all this stuff that I was before. Because to be honest, not only was it making the boxes, I also had to get to the post box, a post office instead of a post box because this couldn't go into the post, the post box. Um, whereas a stencil can just go straight into an envelope, straight into the post box, which is at the end of the road. Bish bash bosh, off it goes. Um, because the post office is only open during the hours that I'm actually at work. <laughs> It becomes a bit of a hassle, um, so I'm trying to rein it back, rein it, rein it back in, make it simpler, um, and do it that way. So that's my plans. I think I can make could it custom work this time. Hopefully, um, you never know. Right, so that's that is my plans. That's what I wanted to talk about. I, of course, am very keen to hear what you guys think. If you think that. Um, Stencils is something that you'll be interested in, whether they whether they be some designs. If you've got ideas for some designs that you'd like to see, uh, pop them down in the comments. If you like the idea of being able to submit a picture uh, and me have a go at making a stencil for you, um, <clears throat> I actually did a video. If you look down at my library, where I changed a picture of my face into a stencil uh, live on camera. Uh, take a look at that so you can see and get an idea of the process and how it all works and whatnot. I can take I can take almost anything and turn it into a stencil with varying degrees of success. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's 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 the whole purpose of this video was to ask what you guys thought. Um, let you know that I'm actually thinking of offering stencils on my Patreon as well. If you if you wanted to help out the channel with a bit of money, I'm uh, thinking of offering stencils as a little bit of a thank you, say thanks for believing in the channel, for, for supporting the channel, um, let's all stencil stuff together <laughs> and grow it all together. Right, um, yeah, so keep an eye out on the channel for, for stencil work and let me know your thoughts on whether you're interested, whether you think it's cool, um, just your ideas around that sort of thing. Um, as always, very keen to hear your thoughts on it. And again, massive apologies for anybody expecting the Frostgrave video this week. Um, I just haven't, I haven't done much of anything to be honest. Just, just a lot of thinking and not much else. <laughs> right then, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for putting up with two talky videos in as many days at the end of this week and i hope you stay well and i hope you i hope i see you in the next video thanks very much